Hello guys, I'm from Gadgets First and I'm going to show you an app called Kernel Adweater. For starters, this app is only for those phones which have root access. You can control your frequencies, the CPU frequency, the maximum frequency. You can enable and disable cores if you have a multi-core processor which can help you save a lot of battery. If your phone has got a battery with less capacity, then this app is great for you. You can change the maximum and minimum frequency, change their clocking rates and this will in turn save your battery. And it will also help in boosting performance to play high high demanding games. So let's check it, check out how it works. What I have just done, I have an, opened the CPU tab here and I can control the cores my phone is an octa core snapdragon 6110 processor so here i have eight cores four big cores and another four that are maximum clocked at 1100 megahertz the bigger ones are clocked at 1600 megahertz so what i can do is switch on or off those cores for example if i need to play a graphics intensive game like asphalt FIFA something like that so I can switch on all of the scores and switch on all eight of them which will boost the performance make them lag a lot less but when and let's guess I'm traveling then I need to save some juice so what I do is switch off all the cores just keep one core active and what it will do is save battery now we can also change the maximum and minimum clocking frequency the more up processor clocks, the, it will increase the amount of work done by processor which will increase the heat output and which will, also, which will then decrease the battery backup. So what you need to do is, you can decrease the maximum clocking frequency to as per your needs. For example, 800 MHz, you need at least a minimum of 800 MHz because else your phone will be too laggy and then it will cause errors next what you can control is you can control the governors this will also try to save battery it is an inbuilt feature every android phone has it you can also change it from the developer options but this one is shows a better way to do it so there are many more things you can control you can view stats like temperature the gpu clocking speed